Hey, welcome to Car Viewer and the Java Swing Library. I want to give cred out to um, Big Java. This is uh, where the file is coming from, or files. You know, the process of uh, drawing a car on the screen begins with the Car Viewer class. And I'm just going to run this and so you can see what's uh, produced by it. And you can kind of see front and center that there are two cars appearing on a window, in a window. So um, it's kind of arbitrary what we call the class. We call it car viewer, but if we we're drawing something else, like a face, we might uh, call it face viewer starts with creating something called a J-frame, and you can kind of see it over here. This is the frame. We set the size as 300 by 400, and you can see the title here saying two cars, uh, and setting up a procedure for what to do when it closes. Now, uh, what we're adding is uh, to the frame a car component, which is uh, something that is created in another class. We set the frame uh, to visible. So that is actually pretty standard uh, creation of a frame. You can put all sorts of objects in. Today we're going to draw. So looking at this in 11 and 12, we're adding a car component. Now, um, what you can do is take a look at a car component and notice uh, something that it extends a J component. And by extending J component, we get to uh, do what we want with a method in the J component library called paint component that takes a graphics argument, which is uh, what is going to be displayed to the screen. So we take that graphics object, cast it down into a 2D graphics object, and call it G2. And then we put a new car at position 00. zero. And if you look back, that's where the new car begins, up at the 00, zero position here. Then we go ahead and get the width and subtract 60, and we start the lower car down here, above there, the width minus 60 and the height minus 30. So it all makes sense, right? And we put another car at the X and Y that we calculated based on the width and height and draw the cars using the G2 object. So each car gets a starting coordinate, X and Y, and they position using those coordinates on the screen. So let's look at a uh, car a bit because we're actually creating a new car here. And car is in this file and we use a number of different libraries mainly from the abstract window toolkit the ellipse 2d allows us to draw ellipse including circles rectangle line 2d and point 2d so just going to say that um it's all driven from the coordinates that are given in this case the upper one, zero, zero, and this, meaning the width minus 60 and the height minus 30. So that comes in and the X left and Y top are assigned the values that are given in the other program. So the reason why what we're uh, doing here is we can go ahead and, and uh, take a graphics 2D object and, you know, draw the car, which is drawing the rectangle 10 down from the Y top. There's the rectangle right here. 60 wide, 10 high. 
the front tire is x left in by 10, y top down by 20, which is a number 10 plus 10. That's how they get to 20. And 10, 10, which is uh, within height of the circle or ellipse is going to be 10 by 10. And so it is a perfect circle. The rear tire is over by 40 from X left and it's down by 20, the same amount as the front tire and it's 10 by 10. Now we get to defining the points. And so I'm just going to say there is a point here where it intersects with the body, a point here, a point here, and a point here. And they're all defined as points. And so what are those points? This point is 10 from the left, 10 down. We get that by understanding what the rectangle is about, okay? And so those are the two points, that's that point. And then the next one is over 20, okay, which is about the end of the tire. And Y top, which was uh, given as zero, zero for this car. And then likewise, this is over 40 and down Y top. And we get the idea that we're drawing out these four points of the roof all relative to x left and y top. So we can now connect these lines using these points r1, r2, and then draw the car. So if I wanted to go back and change car component and add a new car, which would be car uh, car three, uh, no, car three equal new car. Um, and I'll just go 100, 100, okay? And you'll see when I run it, I will have car three dot draw G2. G2, G2, type it right. Okay. What am I calling in the car? The draw method that takes a G2 parameter. The G2 parameter comes so that later on it can call the draw method in the 2D graphics library. Does it make sense? It's not actually calling its own draw method in car. It's calling G2's draw method. So that's how that works. Um, and so let me go back to car viewer and run it with the third car. Let's see what the errors are. Okay, I think it's in car component because that's the only uh, change that I've done. Oh, care, look at that, care. That's the error right there, care. Not a care in the world. Okay, let's run this one. All right, we got a car at 100, 100. All proportional because it's based on the upper level, X and Y, okay? Everything's drawn relative to that. So, just want to say thanks. Hope this helps you in drawing something like a base.